finally, it's time for another quick tip Tuesday. Okay, so here we go. There, um, these are two different ways that you can approach either singing in a more belty, so, uh, contemporary, um, you know, go for it, whatever, <laughs> more contemporary sound, or if you want to sing in a more classical, legit sound. There's two words, two terms I'm going to give you. One is the one you're going to think of when you're singing in a contemporary sound, a more belty sound, and one is the one that you're going to be singing when you're singing in a more legit sound. Here they are. The words are wah and wall. Wah and wah. <laughs> okay. So, um, you don't want to be going for really high belted stuff or more contemporary stuff in a wall place. If you, um, we were, I was working with a student this week on, oh, moving too fast from the last five years. And, um, what was the, did I just hear an alarm start ringing, right? Uh, Maybe if you think of even just the word fast, singular impression, things are moving too fast, all fast, that doesn't work. Singular impression, things are moving too fast, sounds much more appropriate in that place, right? We might want, if we're singing, um, you know, if we're singing to dream the impossible dream, what dream? You wouldn't go to dream, the impossible dream. That just wouldn't be right stylistically, right? Depends. I mean, everyone to each their own. You can do your own interpretation of everything. But um, it's much more stylistically appropriate to sing Impossible Dream from Man of, uh, Don Quixote, from the Man of La Mancha. Um, it's much more appropriate to sing it in that rounder opening. So it's a wall opening. But if you're singing moving too fast from the last five years, which is more contemporary, you're going to want to have a wide opening, that wah opening. And actually your mouth doesn't have to go to do that. You can go wah, 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 wah. My mouth is not moving. Uh, or my mouth is moving, but my shape is not changing between the wah and the wah. It's actually something that happens in the back of your mouth. So you can go like this. Wah, so really what's changing is my tongue is a lot of it. And also it's um, like people will say you need to have a wide opening in your throat, but it's not really like your throat that's changing. It's the, the back of your tongue is actually the top of your throat. So a lot of the changes happens, happens inside. So that's a great exercise to try for this, just to go, well, well, well. you don't have to move your mouth too much. So you don't need to be like making all kinds of crazy faces, right? So play with it. Maybe even if you just think of yourself before you think to yourself before you sing a song, if it's a more contemporary sound that you want, you think, all right, we're going to sing this as a wah, or all right, we're going to, if it's legit, all right, I'm going to put this in the wall. Wah, 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 wah. Okay, have a great day. Bye.